What's going on guys, Bizarre here and into today's video I'm gonna show you how you can climb really fast on educated. This coaching session was booked by a guy that really wanted to get to Challenger. Right now he was around Diamond 1 but he really wanted to push and with my coaching he was actually able to push to 500 LP after the coaching session. If you also want to improve very very fast and you want to climb, book your own coaching session right now. Enjoy the video. So let's go step by step. So this is the only account you have? No, I have um, I have one. I can I can send you the OPG to that one as well. I have another one, but I don't play on that one as much. Because, I mean, I haven't really played on both my accounts that much for solo queue because of school, but... Let's see, let's, there see, you go. let's see, let's see, let's see. So we also have this... Oh, okay, I think I remember this name. This... It was it was in masters, but I decayed because I didn't play on it for, for for a while. Okay, 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 okay. So, let's go for so. When we started, what was your uh, MMR rank? When we started the uh, first think, time coaching. I think when we started, I was around hundred, or or below, or like seventy. I was like I couldn't climb at all. I got to around four hundred and twelve LP. Couple games off of Grandmaster, okay. and then uh, and then I, I remember you told me you <laughs> lost a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was your maximum rank, four hundred and something. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you still hear me? Yeah, I still hear you. Okay, so my Discord resets. Okay, whatever. Um. Okay. 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 What's the goal right now? Um. My goal is honestly next split. I want to like there should be no excuses for me not hitting Grandmaster. I think next split. Um, and what about and, this split? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I, I think I can also do it this split, but uh, like I want to hit Grandmaster by the end of the split if possible. Okay. I really think I can, but uh, definitely, definitely, there should be no excuses for me not hitting Grandmaster next split. What do you think holds you back? I don't know. I think that whenever I'm... The thing is, when I get ahead in lane, right? I know exactly what to do, exactly how to perform properly so that um, I don't end up falling back behind and then I can carry. Because if you look at some of my games, I'm like, carry, I'm like MVP, MVP. But uh, the games that I start losing in lane, it's like... Uh, it just feels too difficult for me to ever come back. Do you tilt? I, 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 like, lately I think I've been tilting a little bit, but... Um, I try not to. I try. I have my chats muted permanently so that I just can't see anything. And then if someone usually is tilting me with pings, and I just no, I just mute them. So. Okay. Uh, right now, you're trying to to upload that game on uh, on YouTube. Uh, let me let me try and get it. It's gonna take a little bit. Yeah, you can just put it to upload, and then you can share your screen, and we can now uh, look at it. It's gonna be much easier if I if I have the the, the file and I can just scroll through it. <coughs> so what's your current pool of uh, of champs right now? Current pool is well, I feel really comfortable on a, on a few champions, but definitely Jinx, Zaya, and Aphelios and Ezreal are kind of my my four go tos right now in the meta. Like I pick Jinx. Usually, like I want to pick Jinx, um, but if Jinx is taken or banned, then I'll pick Aphelios. Or if the team just has like, or if my team just has no front line, and Aphelios would feel better than Jinx because of like Bloodthirster and Overheal, right? But um, Ezreal's good in like lanes that uh, I'd rather like not like I want to stay away from like their ADC. Like if it's like a Draven Rel lane, and I have like. Braum and Ezreal feels pretty good, but uh, Zaya as well. They have really hard engage, so that's like kind of my my pool. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Good, good, good. good. Does it work to upload it on YouTube? Uh, yeah. Hold on, I'm just trying to uh, trying to get it here. In the meantime, which game should we actually look at right now? Uh, it's the Zaya one where I had a. Uh, Zaya Karma, that one, yeah. 
interesting. Yeah, that one. I, I feel like I was going against a, a Smurf, actually, as the enemy ADC. But okay. I'm, I'm not too sure myself. Okay, so this is the game. So um, let me know when you can, like when you the, the YouTube is, uh, is done. Because okay. I'm going to watch this game briefly. Does it take a long time? I'm just trying to get past the uh, visibility part private for unlisted. So, yeah. Oh no, it's, it doesn't look like it's taking too long. It'll be like a minute, I think. This Jinx felt really good, by the way. Her spacing was really good. And you feel like she's was she was smurfing? Yeah. I think she was playing on like level 40 or 50 account. Uh, it says we're processing this video, check back later. Okay, no problem, no problem. So it's gonna take like 10 minutes. Okay, good, so let's take a look. So, why did you pick Zaya here? What was the draft, do you remember? Do you have the draft there? And the, maybe you can share your screen and show me the draft? Um, I don't think I have the draft. I think I started recording in-game because I forgot to do the draft, but... Uh, I think they picked they picked Jinx for sure. They okay. first picked Jinx. Okay. And uh, then they had picked Talon, I think. And so I was like, okay, my support hasn't picked their champ yet, so I, I feel like Zaya is like just able to for me to pick into. I see. To yeah, this. I think Zaya can work really well. Um, Ezreal is also not bad with Karma. Actually, it's really good. Yeah. With the Karma, Ezreal is also pretty good into Jinx. I think in the early game at least. I think, like I think in hindsight, in in hindsight here, I definitely would have picked Ezreal, but I also kind of wanted to work on my Zaya a little bit as well because I think she's one of my weaker picks. I see, I see. And uh, so, why did you pick Ghost here? Um, I just I don't think uh, I, I think it's just better for mid to late game and also in in early game, just getting away from Udyr, not being vulnerable to the ganks is really helpful. I see, I see. That's good. That's good. I think that you're gonna play super safe. Jinx Brom is gonna play safe in the lane. There is no kill pressure. You have Karma support. Uh, yeah, like I don't think uh, there's any way for them to really force on us that much. So, so if that's the case, then why didn't you go for HP on the runes? Because they do have a lot of uh, AP damage with the Brom Q and Brom passive, and they also have AD damage here. So you can, if you go for the Ghost setup, you can actually pair it up really well with the HP on the runes um, and maybe Karma heal as well if she really wants it or exhaust. Then you guys play for late game. I don't think oh, there is really? a reason for Karma to get Ignite. So I think yeah. that's that's what I would do personally with uh, with the HP. It's a good to like synergy. I like that you go cut down. I mean, you already lost this game from um, like the build because you go Gale first against Chogat, which Zaya is like really really bad into tanks if you don't if you go Gale first. So maybe Kraken Slayer Phantom Dancer can have. You can have a chance against a Chogat with 6k HP, Udyr and Brom E, like it's not a joke, like this is like 3 champs that you must go for Kraken Slayer. That's yeah, so how you go kill for this game. Okay. Uh, also Quick Blades is second item Quick Blade, like, no, like, like, uh, no, how is it called? The uh, Gelfor's first item is really bad into them. Uh, then you also have to go Navori second, which doesn't help you into tanks again, so we, again you're delaying the power spike of... Uh, of Lord Dominic's, it's gonna be hard to, to win this game already from from that point. Okay, now we just hover. You took uh, Doran's blade. Why did you took blade here? I just think the extra HP is gonna be useful against Brom Jinx. Surviving in lane. Yeah, I, I don't think the, the three pots is useful at all here. Yeah, I do agree. I think that you can go for like the the HP on in hand side. You can probably also go for long sword three potions because. I mean, it's not like the HP is gonna save you in the lane because I don't think you're gonna fight with the Karma. And I think that if you wanna go for 950 recall for the Noon Quiver instantly, it's it's good in that regard to get tempo advantage because realistically speaking, how this lane is gonna go, Karma against Brom, like they are always we're always gonna have brush priority. You're gonna walk up on the Jinx to try to queue, and we're all always gonna gonna have uh, the momentum in the lane. We're always gonna have prior. We're always gonna get uh, uh, a lot of waves crushed. So I do think that if you have tempo advantage, if you know you can get Prima prior, and you know that you can recall whenever you want, just playing for tempo around 950 gold, 
getting the long sword early on is not bad in this specific lane. But again, we're talking in a lane where you don't need the HP, and we're talking in a lane where you have Karma against Brom with Exhaust and Jinx with Ghost. So unless they space you like Faker, I think that we always have Prior. Therefore, long sword three potions so we can guarantee the 950 gold can be good. Uh, just as an option, it's just your preference. It's not bad okay. what we did here. Okay, then you go in the lane. I like that we respected them being here. I don't like that you go Q. Super, super bad. Because if you think about it, if they are right here, I start doubly instantly and I go on them with Ghost. Yeah. If they are not here, then you can start Q. Um, did you check this? Don't tell me Karma checks. You also didn't ping here. You should ping as this is missing here. Because Zaya level 1 is one of the most useless champ with Q, of course, with double is different. But if you go Q, she's very, very, very weak. And it's not like Karma is bad level 1, but is bad against Brom Jinx. So I would ping here, assistance, and also I would not level up anything. Okay, then you go in the lane, you don't leash, so it's, this is good. How do you want to play this lane? Uh, I just want to get, I just want to establish the push so that Jinx can just rocket the wave and and Good. get the pushback. Good. Uh, I think she does even out the push a bit, but um, yeah, I just kind of want to, like what you said earlier, I just want to have Cryo and just make sure we can stack waves on them and see if I can come. That's kind of what I was thinking. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Let's see. So you're trying to get Pryo, this is really good. I want the first Q on the Jinx. Pretty good, we missed it, but pretty good. Karma goes into the brush, super, super good. I don't like the, the feathers. So you're trying to push here? Let's see. Let's see how the feathers are, like the position of the feathers. So Karma uses Q. Let's see the next Q here. Are you gonna use Q on the Jinx or is it Q on the wave? If you use Q on the Jinx and on the wave, it's gonna be fine. Ah, uh, I see, this Q has missed it. You should look to Q her, right? Yeah, I probably should have traded right there with her. Exactly, exactly. You should go behind the Dominions and like force a trade. Also, personally, if this is like Challenger, I think that it's I think it's better if Karma stays here. Because if I'm Jinx and Karma is right here and I know Karma has, has a mantra, where am I gonna stay here? I mean, true, but Zaya can stay in the brush and kill her instantly. Yeah. So I think that in usually Blitzcrank or like most of the supports, they generate more pressure by staying into the brush. But I just think that how Karma works, Lux as well, it's either Zaya and Karma, they both stay right here and you poke from the same angle, or Karma stays here so she has a very wide angle of attack yeah. and then you stay here. Yeah, because the thing is Jinx feels completely safe standing right there, right? Yeah, exactly. There's like, we and we should always have pressure on her in the lane. With, I think that it's Karma. always... Karma wants to always hover Jinx, like she needs to move here. And if Jinx moves right here, she should reposition it like the other way. So what you should have done is that you should go right into the brush and then ping her, ping, ping on the... Like that she should stay on the left angle. But yeah. Karma is, is like, this is D1, so like she's not really thinking about these things. But no problem. So let's see what you're gonna do. So the next, the next, what you're gonna do, the next steps is very important for Grandmaster Eddie Kelly. So let's see the queue. Okay, trying to push. Let's see Q. Okay, so again, it's the second Q you didn't do on her, right? The second Q. So you're, you're not queuing her on, her on her as much as you should. Good, and then here, she walks up. She's gonna space a bit. Okay, good dodge. Okay, here, let's see, good auto deck. Okay, let's see the Q. Okay, this time at least you did Q on her. Yeah. How should you use the feathers right now? You're passive. I want to use them to le like to exactly where my feathers are right now. I think is yes. where they wish. But be. why? So that, so that I can get the well, like just so I can hit her with them. But then once we end up getting level two, then they're going to be in the area. Exactly. So you can play it right here and just put it like this. In fact, what I would personally do, I would actually put the feathers like this intentionally. So she's uh -huh, gonna zone she's gonna herself. Walk back, right? Yeah, exactly. and she has to walk that way. Exactly, exactly. So here, look at this feather. Really, really autopilot. Really autopilot. This feather, autopilot. Stay here, feather like this. Pressure, ruler, deft, uh, teddy, gumayushi. They do this. Because now, this, you played okay for Diamond 1, Master Tier. But this is still very bad executed right now if you're playing Grandmaster Challenger. Like here's another feather that you missed. 
Let's see the next queue. Good walking up. Hmm. Okay, you could have killed her, I think. So if I queued earlier before Brom could walk there. Yes, or 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 or, I don't. I think I would ghost hit instantly because you just get level two. And I will not QE here because we know that they are gonna get level two and Brom is gonna E. So I will W for a movement speed so I can get here. Ghost W here. She's gonna panic, panic flash probably, and we can kill her. Because if you go for E, the E is not gonna help you at all with the Brom. Look at the E. If you had W, imagine. Because W gives you how? 30%? 35% attack speed. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would have hunted. I would have won this so hard. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, he was close and we did burn, burn his flash. Yeah, okay, but... so we burned the flash. Hmm. Did you know what I, I did? Knew, I knew right here that I could have killed Jinx. But I didn't play it right. Yeah. Okay, what if is the I jungle right now? I did it earlier in the fight. Oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I said if I ghosted earlier in the fight, then I, then I would have um, definitely killed, been able to kill Jinx there. Yes. 100%. Even if I had Q, like even if I took Q, not W, right? Which I did. Yeah. I think I killed Jinx if I just ghost. Yes. 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 Or just take cleanse if you don't like ghost. Cleanse is also okay here, but I mean, not needed though, because only for Brom, we playing Zai, don't need go uh, cleanse, but. You if can. I play it right, I don't need cleanse. Yes, if you play it right, I don't need cleanse. Yes. Enemy jungle. Um, I knew that they they did not leash bot because as soon as we started pushing the lane, they just walked up, right? Okay. So I knew that Udyr was pathing bot and would be like taking his red right now. Okay. Um, or like almost taking his red, and so I was like, we just want to get this wave to crash. But did you did you see that Talon leashed in any way? Talon. Okay, so you saw you you you. Oh, sorry. Uh, I guess okay. Talon has TP. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you see Chogat leashing? Like, how do you know that uh, they didn't fake leash? Well, so you think? Well, like you're saying that he could have just started solo red. Yes, and then just the three camps into both. I don't think Woodir can do that. Like, I mean, he can, but it's super slow. He could, but did you think about that? Um. Well. It like definitely would have like I definitely would have thought of the possibility, but I don't think there's any way they can kill us at level two. Like I just go so Yeah, I see, I see, I see. So but if he goes I think I'm safe, if, right? if he goes right here like this. Oh, uh, if he's here now then Yeah. Yeah. That's my concern. That's my only concern if he comes here. So be very, very careful how you play in these kind of situations. If you're not thinking, because now it's already like pretty late, it's 2 minutes and 35, so in the next 10 15 seconds you can get ganked. He actually stopped for Raptors. This is this is so bad jungle, actually. Let's see, so he did that, and he sees this. He sees this. Yeah, if he, if he sees this, definitely don't start Raptor. <laughs> like, this guy is Diamond 1 player. Yikes. He's like just here, he just, but, I mean, the thing is. If he's thinking I'm not gonna go bot because I know Vi should always be behind because I saw I saw her starting top. Uh, I mean maybe he's thinking about this. Who knows? Maybe he's really high IQ. But still, like you should be expecting it because there are many junglers that do this. I okay. think I also think it's really bad that Vi's full or like full clear her top side. Yes. If she just if she just red buffs into into blue and Grom, she'd be here already. Yeah, but she probably didn't know that you guys are gonna fight like that. Okay, so she's here. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, good Q. And then he replayed it good. You tank one tower shot. I like how you play this here. And then you just back off. Ooh. Okay. Recall, wave. Slow pushing into you. Okay, 952. What did you buy and what are the possibilities? <laughs> yeah, it's just... It, it's just like double long sword and... Um, I need control ward. I don't even think I can get dagger there. Okay, but what about the pickaxe here? Oh wait, I know. I think I do go pickaxe. Okay, but yeah, they have yeah, 952. Yeah, I, I... So pickaxe potion or pickaxe uh, pink? Uh, uh, I think the pink is better. Because mm -hmm. we want to have prio, right? Okay. And we should have prio. Yes. And yes. I just got a kill, so. Yes, yeah, so I think pink ward is fine here because if you get prio, Jinx is not gonna poke you, and if she's not gonna poke you, no reason to get potion. I think pink is also important because you play against Brom, 
Jinx with Ghost that can instantly Ghost on you and then Udir. So getting the pink is important. There are some situations when they have Shivana jungle and they have like Janna and you don't need to buy a Contour Lord and you prefer to just get a pickaxe in the fillable potion, pickaxe potion, but it's not this case. In this case, yeah. I think pink Lord has value. So you did, okay. Never I, I went for the potion. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem, no problem. Yeah, because you're gonna get prior over Jinx right now. It's You're gonna have uh, momentum, your strong I side right I now. I think in the moment, my process was um, since Jinx is going to just rock at me and like space me, then I want to have the potions to sustain that. But I think the control is 100% better. I see. I see. Okay. Let's in see. hindsight. Okay, trying to pressure here. Okay, and then he's trying to go on her. So you didn't know about Udir, you didn't know about Barom. So you see Udir mid. Let's see. Udir is mid, he ganked. I hope yeah. you pet, you see that he's towards top lane. Good. And so I'm like, we, we haven't, like, Braum is just like way too far back right now. I don't think that should like, be a problem. But how do you but... know? How do you know Braum is far back? Because I, I knew that Jinx was going to be to the lane first. And I see. Braum was going to be late. Let's see, but how, with how, how much? Let's see, because this is Braum. Brom recalled. Braum is coming, uh, Jinx is coming in the lane. Yeah. Okay. Braum, 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 missing, Braum, missing, Braum, missing. And now when you go in, do you know exactly where Brom is? And try to approximate. Let's see. I think he's at tier 1 turret right now. Uh, this one? Or tier 3, sorry. This one? Yeah. Well, I think he's right here. Okay. Pretty close. Pretty close. But he's bad player. This guy is diamond 1 player. W always on the minions so you can get faster. Second of all, E gives you movement speed. These players are not playing the game. They are like, okay, so yes, but roughly speaking, you have to be able to approximate. Okay, so you went in, but you see that you went in exactly when Brom could have been here. Like now, Brom should be right here. And if he had E, like in the base, he could E here, E here for movement speed, and he was here. Because now. Yeah, I, I have to burn flash here because right. I messed up. Ooh, so we get okay, so we get also hit by the jumpers. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. Is this big? Well you I don't, don't think it's too bad because uh Jinx has no sums and she's half HP as well. And yeah. I have the pot running. So I don't think it's that bad, but like obviously it's 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 not gonna be able to make us uh, facilitate our lead right? exactly and think about it because this is not bad as in you're not gonna lose the lane but you don't need to lose the lane in, in, when, when you play jinx, jinx brom lane because if she plays to, to to play safe she, if she plays to not lose she plays jinx brom against who against vi shen useless champs into brom by the way brom has exhaust victor is super useless into Brom Jinx. You have Ghost and Zaya can never get on top of the, the Jinx. Plus Zaya is gonna be partnered with Chogat and with uh, with Brom she, Brem, Brom Door, Brom E and uh, Udir. So Jinx almost always outscales in this composition. Therefore, you not being able to facilitate your lead is huge here. Playing the, the lane to not lose it and not being able to stomp it is very bad in this yep. specific composition with this specific uh, uh, champs, in my opinion. So be very, very careful with this, because this can be huge. Okay. Okay. You're not gonna die. Oh, I was a little tilted here. Because he's gonna get the kill? Tilted. No, because Vi missed her, her flash Q and didn't need to flash either. I see. To maybe, maybe she was thinking that she's gonna get you or something, but yeah. I mean, she didn't need to flash, she didn't need to charge her Q. It's okay, no worries. Okay, let's see what you're gonna do right here. I like that you let her leave first before pushing, so you don't share the XP in 3. You don't need, you don't, if you have I, I always think about that now, especially when I'm farming in mid lane as well, and like junglers are walking by and stuff like that. I don't want them to steal XP. Exactly. Perfect. Especially because you have feathers, there is no no reason to be scared of the the woodier. Okay. Do you wanna stay here? Hmm. It's really really bad tempo though for you. Brom can move, but you have prior mid lane, and she already started it. 
we so. both just shoved waves and she just started it so i was like if she if we leave her she's gonna end up dying and lose the drag yeah okay not bad not bad Ooh, but don't stay for the world though just just run i wouldn't wait let's see here get it i'll start running right now start running start running and then don't turn back you wasted one second two seconds three seconds four seconds and then recall here but she can stop it right here no prom oh, okay he, he uh, had no vision there i see yeah but he could he could just be here like putting water over the wall and he he would see you just in case he's like covering around yeah i wouldn't personally stay for like 30 gold here because now if jinx really wants it to the brom exactly they can just push and i think you're gonna lose two minions and i don't think you're gonna get the experience of the cannon yeah, I five seconds bro i think yeah, I missed the whole wave. <laughs> five seconds yeah. you could have been right here you don't <laughs> get the cannon but you get the xp yeah which is which is fine so this is why be careful with the counter lord definitely yeah definitely was a a big loss in, in the scaling lane right exactly 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 what she's going what blood Thirster? oh she was going some troll ass build she was going for like ravenous i think Okay, 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 so she has uh, her own plan. Yeah, that also kind of tilted me that she was playing super well with this build. I see, I see. I see, 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 I see. Like how can she get away with going such a weak build? I, I don't know. Okay, and then now we just die. Oof. But I trade a kill here, but I trade a oh, kill. Oh, really? She died? Nah. What? She's trolling. I mean... But let's see. Obviously, yeah. if they play it right, then then I don't get a kill. But I thought that I could trade a kill here with my feathers. But what happened here? So why did she die here? Okay, so she walks up. Also, Karma dies here because she walks up thinking that Vi was going to come for the gank but she was just recalling and so my karma gets caught just in 2v1 I see yeah I couldn't read too much right here because what it was coming so you couldn't re woke up right there yeah yeah exactly and let's see what happens here mm. so let's see I felt like I would lose too much if I if I lost this if I lost this wave so I wanted to fight it Okay, so personally, after you after you lose this wave, what is Jinx gonna do? She's, she's gonna shove the next one. Exactly, so you do have a lot of time to put the word to prevent yourself from the dive. Because normally, the worst case that can happen is that you go ahead there, you put the word, and if Udri sees that you put the word, what is he gonna do? Very rarely he's gonna do this and actually zone you. Very rarely. Maybe he's in LCS, LCK, something like this. He's gonna stay here and zone you. But majority of the cases, if you go here, you put the ward and he was in the brush, he's gonna leave. Because here you is just... There way, is there a way to check if I have a ward? Yeah. You have I one do. or two yeah, wards? One, it says. You have one, you have one, yeah. Because here you're just like wasting your time. And yeah, you can get a cast at 14, mini, 14 gold, but it doesn't really matter. I like that you try to chunk the Jinx here before the dive. This is not meaningless, because if you try What's to up? chunk her, this is why you, you trade the kill there. So it does good. Okay, and then it just gets off. Ah, I see. Hmm. Will you get level 6 had you, like, if you get that experience of the cannon? Probably not. Probably need a bit more. Are you saying I wasted my E? No, no, no. I think it was good. It was good. No, I was just thinking if you had gotten the the cannon minion before, and you don't really waste your time here. If you get, Wait, I can't, system. I can't hear you by the way. I don't know if you're. Oh, sorry, here. sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'm just checking if in case you had, uh, if if you you took the minion, the cannon minion earlier, right? If you were level six here, but you weren't. That's pretty close. Mm. How can you play this better? Let's see. So go dodge. Would it I come? didn't think Jinx would would start tanking first, so I, I like shot my feathers up on the side there. I see. But yeah, then she started tanking, and I was able to try to kill though. I see. I see. I see. I see. The pink can save you if he's right there. By the way. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right here, right? Because this is why you buy ping. Well, you you would have bought it not for that, but just to allow you to play more aggressive with the priority. But it mm -hmm. could also save you for for the other purpose, which is just uh, not getting though. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Okay, interesting build by Jinx, by the way. Does she have damage? Her 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 autos do a lot. Actually, okay. with Ravenous. And then you just stay here and you just push permanently. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Put it is on mid lane. You're looking to slow push. Bottle is unfortunately not diveable. Let's see. Good ulti. 23. Good. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, wait. So, it feels like you're crushing a little bit too fast here. Okay, you try to hit the minions a little bit, that's good. Good. This is good. Q. So, it just feels like, for me, it's a bit weird. Um, okay, do you have a lot of games on Zaya? Yeah, but it's a low win rate. It feels like very weird here. Like you're not QE for like poke. Like right now, for example. Let's see. Uh, I felt like it was never worth it on this build. On this build? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, but think about I it. Used like right to play, I used to play with the I and I, I would know that it's worth, but... I see. So uh, you're thinking that... Yeah, but if you're like... I like, it's a, like it's a waste. Like why would I want to put my E on cooldown? Well, if you can poker like this, and you know that Brom Jinx can't really go engage on you, which I don't know how good this build is, but I don't think they can really do it right now. Because imagine like if force on cooldown. Oh, sorry. You mean like they don't, they can't force on my cooldown? If you know that, well, the only thing that can happen if you're wasting your E on the Jinx, they can all in you. Or the jungle comes and you don't have feather. We do have E, so you have to insta ult cost. But if you know that jungle is top, which was, and Brom can't all in you at this point in time because he's level 5 with level 6, so even if you waste your feather, you know that you have kind of a certainty that he doesn't go in. Chunking the Jinx, I think, is reliable because if you do this two or three times and you do like 200 damage on each QE, it can be meaningful. That's 600 damage. Yeah. Because you could have done it right there. Let's see. You could have also done it right here. Yes, right here. Let's see. Because they go in. Okay, good kiting, good. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Good here as well, again. You see that? Like, you should be able to walk up, especially right now that Brom is like backing off. Like, right now, you have the edge. Right now. Okay, right there, yeah. See? And if you done it like before, then right now, she would have been this. And you can be like, okay, but I have no E. Yeah, you can back off for like five seconds because your E is like pretty short. I think it's like six or seven. Let's see. It's ten. Okay, so it's not that little. But it's okay because you can't get ganked right now because jungle was top. And Brom can't yeah. all in you that easy. So here, right here. Okay. Yeah, I think that is happening again. Look at this. Imagine she was like low HP right now. You can spam ping your right to come if he was like low HP. Let's see, and I think you're also missing another one with the QE. Okay, there also you could have done that. I mean, she also has, she, she does have poke, but I mean, sorry, she does have a Vampire Scepter, so you can say, okay, but I didn't do it because she has healing. But the thing is, you have very healthy mana anyways. Like, I would prefer her to be this HP, but she's healing a lot, no problem, and you have like this mana, but at least she's chunked into the tower, because the more ch the more chunked she, she is, the less confidence she has to follow the gank or the fight, so it's yeah. pure pressure. <coughs> then, I would rather have you with like 250 mana, staying in the lane with this, this mana and Jinx being really low, compared to you having more, more mana, but then... Yeah, She's I mean, like I guess I'll, I'll have a biscuit as well for some mana regen as well. Oh yeah, and that too. Okay, played it good. 
Mm, can you play this better? Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. let's see. So, you backed off, good. W, good. What I could have done better, he played it good. What I would have done personally, after the W and after he hit the Udyr once on time, I would Q, Q Brom here. Why? It's because you know that you need to ulti anyways, but if you Q Brom, you actually have feathers behind him. Because if you just kite until here and Brom is gonna be here, he's gonna put the door. So you're never gonna have feathers behind him. So having the feathers behind him, I think it can be very valuable if you just Q on him. Oh, he actually put it up late. Wow, yeah. this guy. And he should not put the E the, the like this, he should put the E like this. Okay, we don't talk about whatever. He did do a lot of mistakes. Okay. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So this game, early game, what I see here, it was a bit uh, like how we played it, 100%. How we itemize, like how we itemize. How we use our abilities to play more aggressive with your QE. We gave too big of a lead to the Jinx as in we lost our flash and we couldn't really like stomp her anymore. It feels like it's a little bit of... Uh, ooh, and I guess here you just lost the game. Yeah, this is lost at this point. I feel like you also the had... The Jinx mm -hmm. just plays it so well. Like I, I, I was kind of like... In this situation, I feel like Vi I, the Jinx just never lives. But Karma's focusing Braum. Uh, yeah, she she just gets away from everything and just kills me still. Okay, so let's see. I feel like you could have been more confident. Let's take a look. Okay, so she took the, the Q. Okay, you're walking up. This is good. This is good. Was there any reason why you backed off like this? Because this is pretty big, right? Look at this. Like you walk up. Brom wastes the Q. Eight seconds, I think. Okay, I think six. when they walk, when they start pathing, when Jinx starts passing to the brush, I'm like, is is Udyr here? Like, I don't know. Ah, okay, you were thinking about Udyr. Let's see. Yeah. Then Vi is here. You he walked up. But then we yeah. have vision, and then I'm like, okay. Ah, I look, see. All I the see. Jinx. And so I, I start running to Jinx right now. Karma's dubbing Braum and staying back on Braum. It's kind of hard to follow right there. Like, she's pretty far away, I guess, but... Okay, then you try to go on him. Mm -hmm. Really unlucky, really, really unlucky. Yeah, I would also personally not pick uh, Zaya with the Karma, but in this case, I guess it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I think, I think, well, I think it wasn't the worst because, well, Karma wasn't picked yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Next time, maybe you can ask what support we pick, and then you adapt uh, based on that. Yeah, because I would have 100% picked Ezreal here otherwise. What? He wants you now. Yeah, I know. Yikes. And then if we go push mid lane or not? Okay, you turn on no, his so you no, don't push. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, but right here you go Gale first, right? So it's gonna be... How fed is the Chogat? Oh, he has air still. It's over. Does he have plated? Okay, not yet. But uh, he doesn't need to go... Merks, he doesn't need to go anything. So it's gonna be... It's gonna be difficult for him to... I mean, for you to, to get through him. Okay, I guess we autopilot a little bit right now as well. Look at this. Like here, who do you want to play with right now? With Vi. Exactly. So then why are we backing off on the, on the mid? Do you want to be here? I think maybe you are too focused on, on Jinx. You want to hover Vi and you want to play for top tower. Right? Yeah. So a bit autopilot right here for sure. I, I think I was, I was looking for a... Uh, for a base. Oh, when you have Kraken Slayer, don't tell me you had the item. No, please. 
please, 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 please. How much gold do you have? Fuck, man, you have the you have item base. Uh, you I can even recall. Wow, huge actually. So I mean, I it, think I I don't know. I I think at this point I'm starting I'm starting to get a little like clouded. I see. Yeah, yeah. Because what Jinx, like, what Jinx did there, I, I I know, I know. I'm like, oh, how do we win this game now? Like, you know what I mean? But I see. Yeah, I think here, I mean, you can either consider staying hovering and then, or or just like recall either ways. What I would personally do, if I have Kraken Slayer, I would just ignore them unless they are like fighting. Or you can just recall in this brush in case something happens and you really want to go there. But you don't have ulti, so probably not. But if you want, you can recall here and then go from there. But uh, this is... So I guess from here you are kind of tilted, right? Yeah, yeah. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. And the Jinx right now is going to have... Uh... She has a lot of wave clear this, this build. Yeah, I wonder if she did it because we picked Karma as well, but I don't know how to say. Yeah, interesting game though. Interesting game. She probably I was trying to build. I definitely, if I just base for Kraken, or I mean, even if I had Gale Force, probably wouldn't have resulted in me getting chunked like this. Yes, 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 yes. And the fight is going to be much different. Like here with Gale Force is like Pentakill or... At least you're gonna get, you're not gonna <laughs> die for sure, and it's gonna be different here. Yeah, I mean, at this point the game is done. At this point the game is done, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so I think it's consistency, Raquel. I think it's, uh, we have to, I think these four champions that you play right now is very good. Keep going. Be careful with the draft, because the draft can hold you back. Try to ask your supporter a little bit more what, she, what he plays. Because Karma yeah. is very bad here. Again, it can't really influence it, so... It was mostly like what we did in the lane and how you played it with the feathers and with the cues and like how you... Like how you didn't word, how you didn't buy the pink word, this kind of thing. Ghost early, W level 2, uh, but also a bit of the draft. Also a little bit of the draft for sure. You're probably not used to play Zai into Brom, but it's good because you're learning. So be careful with the tilting. Like, it's okay if you tilt, it's absolutely okay, but try to, if you feel like tilted and you already lost like two games, I recommend you to just, you just use this, the other account. It's gonna, it's actually gonna make a big difference. Ne this next game, I, I, I just took like a, like a five minute break after, I was like, okay, I'll just refresh. Because I still want to, I want to grind out some, some games today, or yesterday, I guess. I see. And then I go like, I think I went 17-2 next game on Ezreal, so. I see. That's good. That's good. And then look, look, look at, like, this game is just completely over. Like, look at your damage right now on the Choga. Like, even on this guy, but I, I against Talon, you can always go kill first. So, let's see. Look at this. Look, look, at, the, look at this damage. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then Ombrom. Oh. Ombrom. I'm hitting. I'm hitting. I'm hitting. I'm hitting. Then Udi yeah. comes. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Gale Force through. Okay, let's see. One of the deck. Okay, Brom. E. Okay. Okay. Roots. Okay. S okay. Some damage. He has just plated boots and he doesn't even have locket. So be very careful with itemization. I definitely think that you're a player with potential. Um, this game, though, if you performed a little bit below average, like be below b what you showed me. Uh, especially in the later stages, so I guess you maybe tilted a little bit or something happened. Yeah, I think mainly from tilt, but also I think I just autopilot only Gale Force on Zaya. I used to build Kraken, but I always see challenger players like only building Gale Force, so I'm like. Oh, really? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we have a Kraken Slayer. Alistar Wukong set, okay. We have another Kraken Slayer, inspired. This guy is... Okay. Like, I think Kraken Slayer is good in every case, honestly, on, on Zaya. 
but if you sometimes you just really need gale force sometimes like, uh, even in that in that game right there the one with inspired i think gale force is 100 percent better yeah well the thing is like gale force is like it helps you to to get your feathers it gets you it helps you to like angle them yeah but oh, i think it, i think it also helps you to chase down um, yes or to chase down well. to chase down i think it can be good the thing is if you think about it right here you have katarina zara khan ken and viego we definitely engage into like a rumble like they have super low mobility and there is Lee Sin with plated boots and Gord Rinker, so I don't see any reason why I don't go Kraken. Why? It's because Gale Force, I mean, you don't need Gale Force against any of these champions to escape, and you already have Urti. So I feel like, in my opinion, I think Kraken is very good. Wait, look, this is a one trick pony, one trick pony player. And then Gale Force, Gale Force, Gale Force. It's definitely its preference. I think that personally, I prefer uh, the Kraken Slayer build, it's just more damage. But I don't think Gale Force is a bad build. Look, Reckless as well did it. So. It's not bad, it's just situational. This guy from SK did. What you can do is that you can do Zaya, OPGG, and you can do some research. You can also watch Korea. But EO Vest is good. Korea is also good for builds. Look, Master Tier, Master Tier, and I'll only check the Master Plus. And you can just check like this. Okay, Gale Force, Gale Force, Gale Force, Kraken. Okay, Wukong, Chogat, exactly the composition, Renekton. Kraken Slayer again. Look at this. You can say, okay, but he didn't need Kraken. Well, true. But also, getting Gale Force in this composition, like, you're never gonna get, get hooked by Trash. You don't need Gale Force against Victor, necessarily. And then, why you have ulti, Fiora have ulti. So, he goes with... This This build is the one that I love. Into tanks. Navori, PD. Because it's super good synergy with Kraken PD. Yeah, may maybe you just like the Gale Force. It's not bad. 100% is not bad. Yeah. As you can see, this is a... Is this okay? It's NA. Okay, it's 86 LP, so it's not the best, I guess. Okay, this is only NA. It's LP. 600 LP. Okay, it's not bad. It's Gale Force, 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 Gale Force. Like, he lost again against Chogat. <laughs> yeah, I see that. But okay, it's not AP Chogat, because if it was AP Chogat, it was different. This guy also doesn't look like he builds anything else. You see that? He builds every single game the same thing. His players are not good. Like they don't think about the itemization. Let's try to see not a nado. Let's see Elvest. Let's see Elvest, 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 Elvest. Let's see this Elvest. 330. This we don't know. Gale Force, Gale Force, Gale Force, Gale Force, Gale Force, Gale Force. Okay, Gale Force, Gale Force, Gale Force. This guy also feels like he buys every single time. Same thing. Yeah, and you can do. Okay, this guy has Kraken Slayer. What LP? 31 LP on Elvest. Okay. 350 LP, main Zaya. Okay, let's see. You can do your own research like this and you can just look for... Uh, for like possibilities here. Look, he also goes Kraken Slayer. Same thing. And here, you, you can say, okay, but he didn't need Kraken Slayer. I mean, yeah, true, but... Kraken does more damage in this composition. And he also didn't need Gale Force because he has Zillian Ulti. So it's just preference, Trekkel. It's really just preference. Okay, so what do you think are the main things that we learn from this 